Well, hello there, Darksiders, and welcome back. We've got a very special item here to show you today. This is a full desktop system on an iPhone. Uh, first, let's start with the case. This is actually a custom designed and printed uh, and assembled case that, that I kind of did myself this time. Uh, I had an iPhone 6 before this, uh, which I, of course, broke. I dropped it on the very first day of ownership and it had a cracked screen throughout the entire what, three years of use. Um, and so this time when I upgraded, I've got an iPhone 7 here now, um, I wanted to design a case that could really take a punch. So as you can see, I've, I've reinforced it pretty well. It's super thick. It's not something that's slim lined for your pocket. Uh, this is an industrial style case. And what I, I liked is the old uh, school Star Trek flip design in the communicator. So that's how I made this with a hinge. Um, and then also, as you can see, I attached some magnets to keep it closed there right a little bit of resistance just enough uh, and then some other magnets and magnets on my stylus pen to keep that snapped onto the side so this is the case um, i've actually uploaded these files at thingiverse and i will put a link to this in the description below if you've got an iphone 7 or an iphone 8 or any other model with the same dimension specs uh, it, it should fit this case just fine uh, i printed this case with uh with with minimal supports i think it was 20 percent infill of the supports 100 uh, percent infill of the actual content of the case itself um, and that support was actually just for the hinges here to make sure that they weren't drooping too far uh, during the print process. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, flipping it open and unlocking the phone. I'll turn to the side here to keep my password private. Um, the first thing you wanna do to turn your iPhone into a full desktop um, is to go into, util well, utilities for me, into your settings, um, and then you know, you want to connect some Bluetooth devices. But the way that you do this with the new um, iOS, I believe it's 13 or higher, um, to connect a mouse, what you want to actually do is go down here to accessibility instead of Bluetooth. Uh, once you're in accessibility, you want to go down to touch. Here it is, touch. Uh, and then you want assistive touch. You want to make sure that's turned on. Um, and then devices is what you want next. And here you can see there is, uh, well, all of my devices are listed, but this is where you would go to pair a mouse. For a keyboard specifically, you can pair that from the normal uh, Bluetooth keyboard section, but to do the mouse, for some reason, you've got to come into this assistive touch uh, section. I, they just want to make it as difficult as possible. Uh, so anyway, going back out to the beginning, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually put my stylus away here and set this up so that you can see that mouse in action. Um, it's pretty cool. I set mine to have a green border and, and the smallest size possible since this is a phone and not a big tablet. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using this uh, white Bluetooth mouse over here and it works just great. Uh, going back into you, to, uh, settings here, scroll wheel up to my Bluetooth settings. You can see that I actually have um, two Bluetooth keyboards connected to this. So I've got my main Bluetooth keyboard here that I can work alongside with this mouse and use it like full desktop um, setup style with, you know, an actual keyboard to type. But then I've also got this little tiny guy here. Um, and this is a keyboard and mouse pad all in one, uh, which I really enjoy. You see, you can move the mouse around there with your thumb. It actually has mouse click buttons here and here. Uh, and it also has them up here uh, joystick style on the top, so you can click your mouse that way if you like. Uh, and then this is like a traditional slide out keyboard uh, sized keyboard, uh, and it works really well. So if you're into like the super mobile on the go and you'd rather have a, a little tiny keyboard and mouse, I will link this device in the description below. Uh, it works beautifully. But if you like the, uh, the more traditional larger keyboard tab, um, you can do that too, and that's how you set it up. So. Now let's talk about how this is a full desktop operating system instead of just a normal tablet operating system with the pen. Um, so what I've done is in my office zone, I have set up Link VNC um, to go ahead and be able to connect to my computer. So of course I've got a password set here so nobody can just get in. Let me just pop that in real quick. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and connect here. 
and it actually turns my computer on when it does so. Um, it starts off, I'm gonna actually just move this keyboard out of the way so we can have a little more room up top. Uh, in portrait mode here, obviously I can't really see my whole system. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and hide my mouse tool. And I'm gonna drag this down. And then I'm gonna rotate to landscape view. Makes it a little better. And then just you like your traditional zoom in, zoom out, double pinch method, I'm gonna size the screen appropriately for, uh, for this operating system, for this phone. So as you can see, I've got my desktop here on my iPhone, um, and it's the full desktop suite. I'm running Ubuntu 16.4 um, because this is an older 32-bit um, system. But if you've got, you know, Windows or or even uh, Mac iOS uh, or any any flavor of Linux, you can set up a VNC server on your computer and access it with the VNC viewer and uh, use it as a portal here. So. These are, this is my mouse option. I'm just gonna put that to the side here, right next to the um, the iPhone's mouse option that lets you go back home or do whatever you wanna do here. So I've got these two controls sitting down in the corner. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back here uh, just to show you uh, let's do something you couldn't do on an iPhone. How about Cura? Cura is a 3D modeling um, software program. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it is opening up both on my main PC and on my phone. So you're essentially controlling your uh, PC through the phone platform. And there is a, bit of, a little bit of a delay time here between the time you see it actually open up on the screen and the time that the refresh rate cycles it through to the VNC viewer. But you know, if I'm sitting at a pub and I wanna be able to work off of my Linux computer at home, I can now do that through the phone and it's minimal, minimal latency. Um, it's, it's certainly enough to work with. So yeah. That is pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and maximize this program here real quick see it flips up latency is probably about 10 seconds I would guess before you'll see that on the screen too um, and then to disconnect when you're done working with this uh, what you want to do is just go back into your your mouse settings tool and you can sh either show the mouse tool which is kind of cool in fact you can uh, use the uh, the actual mouse on the keyboard it's kind of neat um, or Let's go ahead and bring that up again. You can just disconnect altogether and go back to your uh, your phone operating system. So you're completely out of the VNC connection now. So that's pretty much it. This is how you run a full desktop operating system on an iPhone. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and we will see you again next time.